This is Yarra Valley FM 99.1, and uh, Greg's brought in um, a f- good friend of yours. Yeah, I've known Adrian Austin for a number of years. I've probably seen more on Facebook than in real life, but uh, that's the way things go nowadays. So how did, how did you meet Adrian, Greg? Through various uh, church circles, a lot of musicians in you know, a lot of different churches and they play a huge range of music and a lot of them, well the ones I know are into sort of blues and early rock and uh-huh. and that sort of thing and a bit of Dylan and uh, and we go to different gigs and they rock up playing at cafes and things. And Adrian, no, uh, we've, Hi, we've Greg. yeah, we finally Don't. got you in after changing a few dates and all that sort of thing and, and usually when we have a, uh, a musician in with a guitar they just play straight acoustic but you've got yours plugged into an amp. Yeah, I've got mine plugged into a little Dan Electro, a little retro-looking amp. Yeah. So that'll be an interesting technical feat for us, to pick up the amp as well as the guitar and the oh, vocals. It's not a valve amp, <laughs> but it's not stacked up to the ceilings. And what sort of uh, yeah. genre are you usually playing? Um, I don't know. I do a lot of different stuff, and um, uh, it's eclectic. Yeah, that's a good genre. I think that's kind of what it's been labelled. Roots, maybe. Mm-hmm. A bit of blues, a bit of folk. Yeah, I've never been able to define a style because I'm sort of pinching lots of other people's songs. And yeah, are you a singer songwriter? Yeah, yeah, yep. So you'll be playing some of your own stuff tonight. Oh, only if you want me to. <laughs> yeah. If we S- twist his arm. Now, how long have you been playing? I don't want to tell you how long because that that means I must be really, really good. So I just like I feel like I've been playing for about five years. <laughs> but I think that your time's that by about five. It's probably about right. Yeah, your guitar, yeah. And a mouth organ you've got tonight. What other instruments do you play? I play a bit of didgeridoo, and um, I've just recently bought a cigar box guitar. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I like the cigar box guitar. I've been looking at them recently, and it's what the uh, black Americans made back in the 30s because they couldn't afford guitars. They just used a cigar box mm. and a broomstick, and they've slightly modified it over the last hundred years yeah i think it's been a bit popular popularized uh what have you got lined up for us to start with um look i just thought i'd have a go at this john mayer song yep i'm not sure how this goes it's called slow dancing in a burning room
dancing in a burning room. So dancing in a burning room. Well, that was amazing. You played those last few bars without touching your guitar. Yeah. <laughs> the wonders of technology. Slow dancing in a burning room. Where, where did that come from? That's an old John Mayer song. It's pretty depressing. It's sort of a metaphor about a couple that tried to make it work and couldn't make it work. Yeah, right. So, um, only four chords special. <laughs> but I like John Mayer, so it's one of his easier ones to play. Why the blues? I think it, it relates to my... A depression growing up as as, as a young kid and yep. um, uh, if you can't beat it join it so I just found blues was, was pretty easy to play yeah but I, I just like a lot of the, the songs just talk about life and no one's trying to try trying to make a change they're just singing a song about how it is yeah um, it's been around a long time still the test of time so I've just re- really related to blues it's interesting I, I read on my blog a while ago about how uh, personally uh, going through depression myself the blues really resonates with me it yeah. doesn't uh put me off or send me down it actually calms me and, and says hey i understand um i can relate it says you know this is life yeah yeah i, I, I sort of you know i used to listen to leonard cohen mm. when, I, when i was younger and you know the kind of thing was you know it makes you want to go out and, and cut your wrists but now when i listen to, to leonard cohen i sort of grow a little bit older and a, just a little wiser but now when i listen to leonard cohen it's, or Neil Young for that matter mm. it might sound depressing but why is it when I listen to that music it actually makes me feel good yeah. and I've come to the conclusion that I'm relating to, to famous people who are still alive and sing these sort of songs and I realise I haven't been alone on my journey mm. these guys are famous that, that they've struggled with their life and, and, and I can identify with them so I actually feel quite uplifted when I hear depressing music if that's what what you want to call blues yeah but it it makes me feel that i'm not alone there's other people out there that write songs about it and uh, i feel quite the opposite actually bit of serenity yeah because some people have told me what do you listen to that stuff for well it makes me feel good (laughs) i'll I'll tell you what it's been around longer than madonna and lady gaga and we've probably outlived them as well and when you play, are you used to being solo, or do you play with in a band at I, times? Or I, I play in a band. <clears throat> Look, I'm really just the, the front man singer in the band, and the other guys all the fancy work. But I've really enjoyed doing a lot more solo stuff. It's a lot less stressful. Yeah. And I'm getting probably more gigs doing my solo stuff as I than I was doing the band stuff. And I acquired a um, a Boss Loop pedal a few months ago, and that sort of replaces having to have another guitarist. To do this stuff for me, yeah, and um, reduces having to go out another night to, <laughs> to practice with your mates. So um, I sort of sit at home alone a lot and uh, play around with this loop pedal, and it's become a little friend that doesn't argue with me and doesn't throw tantrums. <laughs> so I tend to use that a lot. So I do a lot of solo stuff, just yes. lots of it. 